Now don't try this in 1.1.3 firmware, don't just go ahead and try this because I did that and my installer was crashing and freezing and it was total, a total nuisance. So I just suggest get this out of the way, go to iTunes, make sure your iPod has the 1.1.4 firmware. If it doesn't, just hit check for update and it'll download the 1.1.1 firmware for 1.1.4 firmware for you. I'm just calling it, I'm not going to sell those points now cuz it's totally confusing. Once you have the 1.1.4 firmware, go to xiphone.org. xiphone.org. If you've heard about this and it's crashes, ignore it. This what I'm going to show you won't crash it. Click here to download xiphone, just hit that. I suggest using Firefox, it'll pop up. Um if you look here, it gives you the option of Windows or Mac versions of this. I'm on Mac, so I'm going to hit that. Gives you this option. Just hit Save to Disk, wherever you want to save it to. And then it's going to start downloading. It's going to take about 10 minutes or so. And when that's done, you'll see it right there. That's what the icon will look like, depending where you are. If you're on, a, um, if you're on Windows, you should probably hit right click, extract all, um, you know, that, that crap if you've done this kind of stuff before. Just open it. If you're on an iPhone, you can, uh, it has lots of options for iPhone people, just read those. But for us iTouch people, we're just going to hit jailbreak iTouch. And it's only going to jailbreak the iPod Touch and install the installer app. And if you're familiar with this, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, then just keep going with me. And then uh, <clears throat> make sure your iPod is plugged in. Make sure you've gone to iTunes and hit quit. And if you're on Windows, exit out of that. Do Control Alt Delete and end any iTunes programs that you might be running or anything Apple related. Then you just hit Start Process. I'm not going to do it because I've already done this. Just hit Start. It'll say some words. Um, rest it'll restore it, kind of uh, recover it is what they call it. It'll turn off. Just just watch it. Just let it do its thing. And you'll see numbers and letters and all kinds of things running across it. It's perfectly normal. Just let it do its thing. And it's going to take 45 seconds. And then you'll look at your iPod and it'll have the installer icon. Now the question is, how are we going to get these iPhone apps? Well, go to your installer. And many people use iPod Touch Master's source. Go to sources. I don't like using his, I think he's overrated myself. Um, just hit edit, add, and use applerepo.com instead. And it um, refreshes your sources a lot quicker than iPod Touch Masters. Just applerepo.com, and it's in the right of my video, and just type it in. And uh, when it refreshes the sources, after you hit OK, it'll look like that in there. I'm going to add one more blazeco.info slash blaze.xml and it's in the ride my video as well and uh, <clears throat> it'll say that blaze official and then you just go to install and there's two things you want to install before we begin the iPhone app downloading just go to all packages and scroll until you find BSD subsystem BSD subsystem and you probably won't see it on mine because I already have it downloaded. So you're not going to see it here. And then just go to all packages. And scroll down to the O's until you eventually find open SSH. You won't see it on mine because I also have it downloaded. But it's around where Octoprep was. And, and go to install. And scroll down in your categories. And you'll see iPhone 1.1 1 .1 point whatever your firmware is. And uh, you won't see 1.1.4 on mine because I already have it downloaded, but if you just click it, and then you'll get <clears throat> something like this. You just hit all applications, and hit install, install. And then <clears throat> it'll download pretty quickly, actually. Then just hit the home button, let it refresh, unlock it, and you have the iPhone apps like I do, the weather, the maps, the stocks, the mail. And if you hold the button down, you'll see that you can move the applications around. If you want to put an application on a totally separate page, just hold it to the side. It scrolls over. And to lock, lock these wiggles in place, <clears throat> just hit the home button. And now they're locked, and they'll stay like that. Now you have your separate pages of whatever you want it, the pages to have on them. 
Okay, now the question is, how do I have this, the Wiggle, the iPhone apps, in one, because as most of us know, 1.1.2 <clears throat> firmware can have iPhone apps, but they work decent, do well, decently well, and they don't have the Wiggle, and the Wiggle is absolutely awesome, and everybody should have that. And besides that, if you go to installer, there's a lot of things you can't install for 1.1.4, or there's tons of patches and fixes for them because they don't work on 1.1.4. So in order to get those 1.1.2 applications to work on this, we're just going to go to the installer. Go to install. And Blaze Softwares. And you'll see SV Patch. There's 1.1.1, 112, 113, 114. We're going to use 112 because most of the applications and games in the installer for 1.1.2. So just click that, install, install, and it's the same thing if you want to download apps or for 1.1.3 only, 1.1.1, just do this. Just hit all OK, even if they don't make sense, just, you don't know what they're talking about, just, just hit OK. Hit the home button, let it refresh like so. Slide to unlock. And if you go to your settings, just make, to make sure this works, hit that, hit about. If you hear any noise in the background, excuse that. But you'll see it's 1.1.2 now. But on iTunes, it should have 1.1. It'll, it'll probably say the same. You don't need to check that. But this is, and then if you go here, look, you still have the wiggle feature in 1.1.2. And now you can download all the 1.1.2 applications. But say you're doing that. And you'll you come across a 1.1.4. How do you get that back? It's just it's very simple. Just go to the installer, go to uninstall, and then just uninstall the 1.1.2 SV patch. Like before, just keep hitting OK. Allow it to refresh. and go to your settings just to make sure it worked and you should see that you have the 1.1.4 firmware so now that that's how you do it and then all those 1.1.2 apps you downloaded should work perfectly fine on the 1.1.4 and you can just keep going back and forth like that that's as simple as that I hope I was a great help sorry it was a little informal with the shaky camera here and there but uh, leave a comment leave a question that's how you do it Thank you.